Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Sergeant Bardo. I'm with the 369th Engineer Detachment. I'm originally from Newtown Square, PA, Delco. And uh, I'm with, also with the Philadelphia Fire Department, Dedication and Service, Baby PFD. Uh, today, we'll be doing a walkthrough of the TFFT, Tactical Firefighting Truck, for the U.S. Army. All right, so what we have here is the M1142 TFFT, Tactical Firefighting Truck. Um, this is manufactured by Pierce. It's on a Hemet chassis. Um, the truck itself has a thousand gallon per minute pump and it holds a thousand gallons of water. This truck is capable of both structural and ARF. ARF, as you know, stands for Aircraft Rescue Firefighting. ARF capabilities, I don't know if you can see it from here, but we have a 500 gallon per minute uh, roof turret and a 250 gallon per minute bumper turret. We also have four ground sweeps underneath the vehicle. Um, they pump out at about 15 gallons a minute. Discharge capabilities, this truck has a total of six discharges. Two on the driver's side, two and a half inch. Same thing on the passenger side. We also have two pre-connects on top of the vehicle. Pre-connects, we have 400 feet of inch and three quarter. And usually for this little discharge right here, we carry a little trash line. Uh, we just use it to clean the vehicle. So we're gonna hang it and dry it, and, you know, proper maintenance of it and stuff like that. Intake wise, this vehicle has three intakes. Driver's side main inlet, uh, two and a half inch to a five inch storts. Also on the driver's side, you have a direct tank fill, which obviously goes directly to the tank. Uh, the good thing about this direct tank fill, it's automatic. The uh, driver pumper operator from the pump panel can switch it to auto. So once it gets full, the uh, direct tank fill automatically shuts. And we have an auxiliary inlet on the passenger side. Um, the truck itself, like I said, it's manufactured by Pierce on a Hemba chassis. It's 11 feet tall, nine and a half feet wide. It's about 35 feet long, and it's just under 30 tons. All right, so what we have here is just a, you know your standard four four man crew cab. It's got heat, AC, and uh, ladder rack controls right here. Engineer compartment. You need your chair for the flight line. Um, standard engineer tools, you know, couplings, data wise, different tips. We have a uh, uh, Siamese on here, two and a half inch Siamese to a four inch national standard thread. Um, that's for dual three inch when we're getting fed water from the HEWAT. Uh, these are what I call your everyday tools. Um, you know, your hose clamp, your piercing nozzle. Uh, you look at them, they're on the truck every day. So, everyday tool. Appliances for airbags. I don't know if you can see from here, with that rope right there, we have airbags on the vehicle. We have a gift from the uh, PFD. We call it a second in bag. Uh, right now, it's got a Philly load on it, which is just an adaptation of the Cleveland load. So the first two lengths, it's got three lengths total of inch and three quarter. First two lengths are Cleveland loaded, and then the last length is a uh, just an accordion type flat load on the top. And this compartment also has the hearse tools. Over here is our medical compartment. <laughs> uh, various tools, you know, PW, dry chem. Um, we have uh, air hammer and the blitz fire, you know, for ground and drown or salt compartment. Cutter's edge, K12, and we have a reset right here. And glorified storage compartment slash wildland slash hand tools and fan compartment. You know, just assorted hand tools for wildland, forceful entry, stuff like that. The officer seat. If you look in there, there's the uh, handle for the roof turret and joystick for the bumper turret next to my helmet. I forgot to mention earlier, this truck also has eight wheel drive, eight by eight, which makes it tactical. As I mentioned earlier, Bumper turret, roof turret. Bumper turret puts out about 250 gallons a minute. Roof turret, 500. So within one minute, you're down 750 gallons. As I stated earlier, the truck holds 1,000. 
So uh, you've got to be really proficient getting water from the Ewot. There's one of the ground sweeps right there, which is another art thing. So uh, to conclude this, I just want to thank American Responder Designs uh, for supporting our unit throughout this deployment with uh, hoodies, t-shirts, you know, stuff for our families, stuff like that. So if you want to get your hoodie or shirt from American Responder Designs, uh, it's going to be available one last time. Um, it goes to help us out on the deployment. I want to do a shout out to uh, all my brothers and sisters of the Philadelphia Fire Department. Thank you so much for your support. And um, to all my buddies in Delco, just remember, stay low, go slow, straight stream to the beam. Have a good one. How you doing? My name is Specialist Kevin Drilly, United States Army Fire Department. Just got to go over the 2010 Oshkosh fire truck. It's also known as a TFFT, Tactical Firefighting Truck. I'm going to go over it real quick with you and try to explain a little bit about what we do with it and what the truck can and can't do. So this is called a tanker. holds 2,500 gallons of water. It's used to supply other fire trucks that don't can't hold as much, about 500 for an engine or so. We have a portable drop tank. We can dump all of our water in. While the engine can draft from that, we can go out and get more water for them to help support them fight the fire. We have four dischargers on this truck. We have two that we hook up lines to, one on each side. A hose reel, we already attached, we can pull out for small fires. And we also got a deluge gun up front if we need to put large copious amounts of water on a fire quick. Over here, our pump panel. You see our pump panel here. We got our circulation tank fill, our two driver and passenger side uh, inlets, and our dischargers. Everything's color coded to kind of help us because we can obviously can't see on the other side of the truck. Here it's all pre programmed for uh, our pressure. We can have it pre programmed to 150 or whatever you want. We prefer 150. We can also manually raise and lower the pressure as well. We also have an automatic idle. We can just put it on idle and it'll hurry up lower it in case for some reason we need to drop the line and run out of a building or something. Right here. That's where we store our drop tank, pull it out. And uh, like I said, we can set it up anywhere we want and drive from it. We got our two draft poses. Hard suction, one on each side. That's what we use to help draft. One of our side discharges dump into the uh, we also have one on the other side, just a compartment here. Kind of used to put some hose and store some of our gear because we really don't have too much space on this truck. Huh. Two man truck, uh, you got your driver and your operator. We got some coffins, what we call them up top, where we can kind of store some extra supplies if we need it. Like I said, there's really not much room. Uh, all this is really designed for is trying to get a large amount of water into a certain place quick to help support other units. Now moving to the front of the truck, we got our bumper turret, also a deluge. Like I said, this is what we use to throw large amounts of water on a fire pretty quick if we roll up. It works off a hydraulic system, and we got the controls in the cab, the driver or the passenger TC can operate it. Inside the cab here, you can see there's really not much space at all. Uh, it's an automatic, it's, like I said, it's a 2010 Oshkosh. Uh, it's eight wheel drive, eight by eight. Uh, we usually keep it in four by, with just the rears. Uh, it's got a dual turning front wheel on it. So again, special thanks to AmericanResponderDesign.com. Check it out, buy one of these sweatshirts, t-shirts, and help support the uh, 369th Engineer Detachment. Thank you.